Well, welcome to our service this Sunday. We are going to think about Christian Aid and Christian Aid Week that has just passed, what we've done in our parishes, but how it can inspire us to act for God as we go forwards. I'm going to encourage you to download the service sheet. There's uh, things on here that you'll be able to follow and join in with. There's also on here for, uh, for children. There's something that when we come to the children's story, they'll be able to join in with. I'm outside. I'm here to celebrate the wonder and glory of creation but also to recognise that it is our relationship with nature that has caused some of the problems in which we're living under at this very time. Come and worship. Come and celebrate our common home. We gather with the family of humanity with the mountains, islands and deserts. We honour the glory of God in creation. With the lakes, rivers and seas, we come to the source of living water. With the land, its soil, seeds and sustenance, we give thanks for all God gives us. With the forests of great trees, the lungs of our planet, we sing with joy and clap our hands. We join with the whole of creation, inspired by those who have gone before and the prophetic voices of today. We dare to praise and pray for another possible world. Join with us and with the choir of St Martin's in the field to sing, O oh Jesus, I have promised.
As we come before God, we come to confess our sins and to hear that he forgives us. Let us join in our confession. God, you know us. You know that we can be loving and kind. And you know that sometimes we get things wrong. We are sorry for the times we hurt other people. Forget to listen to you. And don't bother to care for this, your world. God, forgive us. Do you know, he forgives us. He sends his spirit so we can grow in his love and live the best that we can. Amen. We now have a story from Africa and from Stone about sharing. It's aimed at younger children, but please, adults, don't go away. It's got a message for you as well, and we're going to look at why that message is really important later on. Uh, there is a sheet if you've got younger children, uh, and they can, they can try and find the animals that are in the story. Uh, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, you can also find the story on its own, the sunflower story, on the Witchet Vale website just underneath the, uh, the, the link for this video. The Sunflower A Story from Africa by Jill Bond Mbuya gave Tartu a small seed. Tartu planted the seed. Tartu watered the seed. She waited and waited. Then one day it grew and grew and grew and grew. And grew. And then it flowered. Inside the sunflower, there were many seeds. Tartu gave the seeds to everyone. They planted the seeds. They watered the seeds. They waited. And one day, the seeds grew and grew and grew then they flowered they flowered all over the village and all the sunflowers had seeds and everyone was happy So I got some sunflower seeds from my sister. And what did you do? Alice, what did you do with the sunflower seeds? Well, we watered them lots and they kept growing. And then you had some spare seeds. What did you do with the spare seeds? We shared them and gave them to other people. Shared with Mike and Val. So Mike and Val planted their seed. Alice shared a seed with me as well and mine is just starting to grow. We come now to our reading and we've got a reading from the Old Testament from Micah chapter 6 verses 1 to 9. This was prepared for a Christian Aid Week service and it's so exciting. God says Listen, my people, I need to talk with you. I have questions, I need answers. I've cared for you, I've rescued you from slavery, I've given you wise leaders, both women and men, and you need to remember the stories of who I am and what I have done. Listen, 
my people. I'm talking to you. You who live in the countryside. I'm questioning those who live in the towns and the cities. What have you done? How have I wearied you? Speak. The mountains are listening to you. The earth is waiting to hear your voice. What can I do? What can I bring to God? What does God want of me? What will keep God happy? What will keep God off my back? Would God be impressed with gifts of barrels and barrels of olive oil? Would God be satisfied with all the animals from my flocks? Perhaps riches are not enough. Should I offer the precious life of my dear child? Offer my child in a special way to live for God. Now listen to what God says. Look carefully at how God acts. Remember the stories of what God has done. God has shown you and me clearly what is bad and what is good. You are to do justice. Act fairly. Do justice in the home, in the street, where you buy things in the marketplace. Do justice in the community. Work with others to do justice globally. Do justice with strangers and friends and family alike. You are to love kindness. You are to be generous. You are to share your resources and share them with a smile. You're to care for those in need. You are to walk humbly with God. No pretense, no bluster. You are to walk wisely, purposefully. You are to pray and wonder. You're to respect the earth. You are to experience and learn who God is and what God is about. Listen up. God has told you what is good. Do justice. Love kindness. Walk humbly with your God. If you listen carefully behind me, you'll be able to hear the sounds of the birds. Possibly you've heard the jackdaws come across. Maybe you've been listening out for all kinds of birds and animals, just as I asked the children to during the story. Perhaps you've been seeing all kinds of new things that you haven't necessarily seen on a regular year. If you listen out, you'll also hear a little bit of traffic noise that beginning for us uh, to come out of lockdown. We've been listening carefully, we've been thinking a lot during this time, and we've just realised how important community is for all of us. Doing things together is very important. If you're a child, you are missing the clubs, the games, the friends. If you're a grandparent, you're missing the hugs. We're missing pubs, we're missing social centres, we're missing coming to church and having coffee afterwards. We are social beings. We recognise our connection with one another. And in this time, it's really important to do something. To act justly, it says in the Bible. And our kids in Cuddington and uh, some of the adults as well in Haddenham have been doing something through this Christian Aid Week. They've been climbing. They've been climbing. Everest and Kilimanjaro, climbing to the top, getting numbers of people to the top of both those mountains. Have they been doing that? Through climbing their stairs at home. Why 
had they been doing that? Because they're connected with one another, they're doing something collectively, and that is just great. But also because they know their connection with people all over the world. Our connection with people in Africa and Asia, and they have been trying to raise money for Christian aid. Here is their video. We are climbing Mount Everest on our stairs for Christian Aid. It is a tough challenge, but I hope we succeed. Christian Aid is a really good charity and it helps people in poorer countries to have clean water, food and health care. They are working to stop coronavirus spreading. Thank you, Cuddington Climbers. Thank you, Haddenham Climbers. Great work. Now, over to you. This is the point in the service where we might call for an offertory, hand round a bowl. Uh, this is the week just gone where we would have put out envelopes for Christian aid. And I'm going to go against everything that's in me that's English and ask you for money. But I'm going to ask you to do something even more difficult, to ask other people to support our cause, Christian Aid. And Christian Aid is fantastic. It's fantastic for the emergencies that are going on right now. And you can see something of that emergency and the locust emergency if you click on the link which is on the end of the service sheet. A YouTube video about Kenya. They are great in the long term and if you look at the Christian Aid video, which is on our website. It'll show you what they do and how they listen. That was in the, uh, in the reading from Micah. Listen, how they listen to the people and enable the people to make a difference in the long term. They are great in advocacy, in challenging the injustice of the world that is around us. For all three reasons, I encourage you not only to give, but to promote Christian aid. I learned something from Desmond Tutu. And Desmond Tutu, and actually all Africans, they taught me the value of human connectivity. That we are one. And we are one in him. We are one in God. And so now we have some children who are going to lead us in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you that you were with us when we were doing this challenge. It was very tough, but because you were with us, we reached the top. Thank you for all the people who donated money for Christian aid. Amen. We are all connected. We are fed up with the virus and most of all, we miss playing with our friends and seeing our families. Thank you we can be connected through phones and through the internet. Help us to get through this and to know we are all connected. We pray for those who are lonely and afraid. Let them know that your spirit connects us. 
Help us to remember to ring those who do not have internet connections. Thank you. We could climb Everest together. Thank you for all those who took part and that we did something together, even if we were on our own. Homeless, thank you for everyone who gave money to Christian Aid. Christian Aid reminds us that we are connected to people in other parts of the world, such as Africa, Asia, the Caribbean and Latin America. Thank you that we are all one, even though we live in such different places. For all who are struggling for food, we pray for those who are sick in places where the hospitals are not very good. Send your comfort to them. Pray for our NHS and other key workers. Keep them safe. Pray for those who are sick, especially Julia, Dorothy, Gordon and Jean. We give a moment for you at home to speak out the names of anyone else you are thinking about. Let us forget we are all connected. We are your children. We. One world and one hope. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We had lots of fun giving money to the poor people. Dear Lord, please help us to be resilient, patient and kind. Please take special care of the children living difficult lives all over the world who need your love and protection. Please comfort those who need the biggest cuddles right now. Please speak in a way that only you can to all those people who need to be brave to know you are there and the peace you bring. Amen. 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 Thank you for being with us, to be connected with us in this local place and connected with God and all his people through your participation in our service today. I'm going to ask you to do something, to pick up your service sheet once again and to say yes with me. I want you to make some commitments. Because we are God's people, we will care for each other. Because we are part of God's creation, we will care for the earth. Because we are loved by God, we will share God's love with everyone. 
Now I'm going to encourage you to get off this video and listen to another video. Uh, there's been a, a, a viral video going around of the UK blessing, which is great. But I would really like you to jump to the South African version. And as you see that, here it's sung in English and in Xhosa. You will find that sense of being united across the world, that we are God's people wherever we are. Take and receive a blessing from Africa for you. God keep you, love you, give his peace. Amen.